I'm Ryan with Wooden Camera and we're at NAB 2014. We've got some exciting new products uh, and we've got so much so I hope I don't overload you. Uh, right here we have our Blackmagic 4K conversion camera. We modified the camera to actually uh, rehouse the sensor and allow for PL mount lenses. The nice thing about this adapter is it's based on a uh, red Epic and Scarlet mount. So you can attach any red mount like the PL, Nikon, Canon, uh, the Leica M mount, uh, and BNCR as well. Any third party mount that's made for Epic and Scarlet will work on this system. Uh, also on this camera is our studio lens support system, which is a universal lens support convertible from 19 to 15 studio. All you have to do is unlock this thumb screw and slide the bracket over to 15 studio and then tighten these thumb screws down on 15 rods. Uh, we also make the version in uh, lightweight, which uh, is right here. Uh, the price of this is $295 and uh, it comes with all the adapters needed to attach to quarter 20, 3 eighths and also the rolling Y bracket which is for DSLR lenses with no foot. So it's nice because it rolls. Uh, if you have a lens with minimal uh, area for support and you have to put it under a rotation point, you can still support the lens without hindering the, the rotation. On the back side here, we have our new C-Box cross converter. So it's multi-input. You choose SDI or HDMI via a switch on the side. And then you get simultaneous 3G SDI outputs and two HDMI outputs. Uh, the other nice thing about this box is that it has a 5 volt USB output on the side. So here we have a Paralynx wireless transmitter plugged directly into the box. There's no need for any power conversion, you just connect the two. And now we're sending a signal from the C box to our external uh, director's monitor here on the table. So this is a great way to make the wireless transmitter work on your Epic, your Blackmagic, any camera with uh, a video output really. Uh, and the nice thing about this too is that since some cameras only have one type of output, like the Blackmagic has only SDI, you can plug it in and get HDMI. But the opposite is true, so if you have the pocket cinema camera with only HDMI, you can also convert to SDI. Uh, and then finally on the top here we have our new top handle, uh, it's the NATO Handle Plus. This is a uh, rosette based rotating grip, so you unlock this thumb screw and you can swing the handle around. So you can position it horizontally if you'd like or in line with the camera lens. The other nice thing is that it has an integrated shoe mount on top for attaching on-camera lights or microphones. Uh, the front is a 15 millimeter rod opening, the rear is a 19. Uh, and then on the side, uh, we have the uh, sideways 15 millimeter rod opening for attaching your viewfinder mount. And we also keep the same quick release, which uh, you can unlock the thumb screw, slide to the end, and remove the NATO handle. Uh, and then, I actually forgot, we have one more new product on this, which is the prototype matte box. So we swing this around. This is a concept that we're working on for later this year. Uh, it's a multi-stage rotating matte box. So you can have uh, each stage rotate independently. Uh, it's also compatible with 4x5.6 and 4x4 filters. Uh, and we have, this is the, uh, the uh, universal donut style uh, attachment, but we also make the standard uh, Airy Bellows style and clamp-on adapters as well. And it's all uh, modular and upgradable. Uh, the other nice thing is we're going to have uh, Airy rosettes that are options, optionally attached to the matte box directly. So in times where you have a very short lens, and you want to attach your hand grips to rods, sometimes you run out of room, and this is a great way to attach your rods without taking up any additional space. Uh, and then French flags available as well with a hinge, so you can pack it in your bag neatly. Uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's about it.